an illusion which gives false hope to a lot of people and has smashed so many hearts into tiny little pieces. Well, you may call me a bitter woman speaking from the deepest abyss of love's disappointment. And while you might be right, trust me, I couldn't care less. <laughs> anyway, what do I know? I know there's no perfect ending to a relationship, so no magic formula. But trust me, like the hopeful little fool that I was, I tried. Again and again, 11 times. Can you believe that? 11 times. And still, I came out with the same exact result. Come on, come on. I cannot possibly be the villain in all of this. Can I? By the way, did I mention that I have cried an ocean of stinging tears? for men and all their lies and all their broken dreams and broken promises and still their ships refuse to sail but you know i tried i tried to find the courage and the will to live for me and me alone but you know what men's irrational behavior won't make me slay any less it's really not my fault please i cannot be the only one suffering in this whole pain and marriage drama saga and so I devised a means for all of us to get even. If I can't be happy in love, no one will be. I became a high profile love and relationship expert. <laughs> Imagine giving what you don't have. <laughs> Not my fault. Just a way of getting back at a society which doesn't give a flying rat's ass about the concept of love and sacrifice. Guess what mine is called? You said it, but you don't give me money. Wait, am I your father? Or did you start this relationship with me because of my pocket? Oh, so I should starve. Because I am dating a tight-fisted guy. God forbid. Wait, me? Tight-fisted? <laughs> because I told you I cannot afford the Peruvian hair of 550k for you. Oh, but you bought yourself a PS5. You bought for yourself and your guys. Wait, so, hey, are you bi? Because I don't understand the kind of attention you give to your guys. <laughs> Jehovah. So all this is because of Peruvian hair. Hope you know I've done a lot of things for you. Oh, me unko? Me unko? All these styles in the bed. <laughs> oh, you think I'm giving you those styles because I, I am undertaker that likes to do exercise. Oh, Benny, I beg I am giving you those styles to satisfy you. And satisfy me too. Please, 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 please. Enough. My boss is on her way. You can settle your differences in her office and not here. Sorry. Sorry. Just that this girl did not allow me to sleep last night. No peace for the weekend. My boss will join you shortly. Honestly, eh? I smell trouble from those two. <laughs> Trouble. Yes. Girl, I don't know what you're talking about. Those two, <laughs> it'll be disaster if they get together. You're talking Gosh, trouble. Like, like the girl is something else. Like she's she's so sharp-mouthed. Though I think that you are in love with each other, but you know love and his own issues now. I, I don't I don't even understand because what the hell? Love. And she's spewing all that venom. Look. From the words they said, I think what they need is, they just need more from each other, basically. I, I don't know. <sighs> Look, I've come to realize that a lot of people want the fun of love without the responsibility that comes with it. They just want the feel good, happy feelings. That's it. Nothing more. <laughs> Please, send the guy into the office in like 15 minutes, yeah? All right. <laughs> Girl. Girl, you're glowing, you know, like you're glowing. I'm sure you had one of those jiggles come over, you know. 
<laughs> well, if I'm completely honest, I'd say two. Mm. Don't give me that look, please. Listen, after a hard day, week, month of work, mm. a girl has to clean out those cobwebs, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that's cool. Like, you're literally having the time of your life. Like, no string attached, nothing. It's just, just having fun. But babe, that's the way to go with this stuff now. Uh -uh. Who has time to be pining and whining and moaning about love and all the heartache that it brings and all the hollow feelings? I beg. This is so much better, please. Thank you very much. Come to think of it, I think you're right, you know. Exactly. That's why we're in the business that we're in. Please, send the guy in. Like, just give it like... Seven minutes. Yeah, let me just. Yes, boss. <laughs> <laughs> let me bring you in. Mr. Daniel Chukudi. Yes. Right. Why are you here? Um, well, we heard that you're a love therapist, so I'm here to ask questions. Know how to work on my relationship with my bae. That girl is giving me hell. And this is the girl I want to get married to. Someone I'm really in love with. Hmm. How old are you? Sorry, what has the age got to do with this? <laughs> Mr. Chikudi, we have a, a policy here that you must answer all the questions that have been put to you. And only after the questions are answered can we proffer you a valuable solution. Okay, I'm 23. Okay. And your girlfriend? She's 19. Hmm. Are you... Are you gainfully educated? Are you a, a graduate? Well, I'm a dropout. Well, I dropped out of school because of her. I want to take very good care of her. Look at her face every other day and just tell her that she's my life. <laughs> mm. uh, so it, it sounds like it sounds like a honeymoon. So what is the problem? She's so demanding and controlling. Like I've given her all I have for now. I don't know if she wants my blood. Listen here carefully, boy. Love is not for everybody, okay? Love is absolutely not for everyone. And the fact that you're sitting in my office obviously means that love is not for you either. Let me tell you something. You see, relationships that seemingly start overnight and blossom the way that yours must have will crash in disaster. 99, eh, let, me, let me be a little bit realistic. 90% of the time. So that means that out of 7 billion people in the world, you have like, eight, you have like less than 10% of making this situation work out for you. You literally dropped out of school to take care of someone who is demanding your blood and your life. I need you to listen to me logically right now and ask yourself if it makes any sense. If someone else that you knew that you cared about was telling me what you're telling me now, what would you tell them? That they're crazy and that's correct. You have to go back to school right now. Yes, I'm sure she's beautiful and she's hot and she gives you all the all the thrills and all the vibes, but I, I promise you, there are like 25 million other girls that will give you the same thrill and the same vibe. So do yourself a favor and don't throw your entire future away for, for some pretty little girl. Go back to school. Love is unrealistic and it's unreal. Don't destroy your life, oh. I'm being very real with you. Oh. That's all right. Um, actually, you, you're, you're doing great. You're fantastic. You're wonderful. You're actually processing what you are supposed to process right now, and it is the right thing to feel. Trust me, you will get over it in a jiffy. I promise you that. Focus on making money and taking care of yourself. So, tell me, how did you meet him? Since kindergarten. Wow. <laughs> kindergarten, that's... Uh... Yep, that's a long time. Okay, so what exactly do you love about him? Everything. But he has changed. He promised to bring the world at my feet. But he can't keep to his promises. Hmm? How can you claim to love me? Then you complain when I ask you to do things for me. Things that lovers do for lovers. 
And yet, she want me to know all the images of Kamasutra of head. <laughs> mm, men. <sighs> Girl, I understand you. But if you don't mind me asking, what would you really say that you contribute, you know, to this relationship? Ah, <laughs> uh -uh. hey, bad matics now. He knows it. He confirms it. You can ask him. Now. That's it. That's it right there, girl. <laughs> That's it. See, let me tell you something there. A man who truly loves you will literally jeopardize his entire existence just to take care of you and resuscitate your life. Ah, I know. That's the truth. You're, you're still dealing with a boy now. This one's a boy. He's still a child. He's barely out of diapers. What does he know? You are a gorgeous... You're so beautiful. You don't even understand. Like, the way you look, girl, I promise you there are men out there who would be willing to take care of you with all of this, your assets. You need a real man, a man who understands your worth, a man who is going to wife you up and make you his trophy wife, who is going to give you the life that you want. You want to live the La Vida Luca life, right? You need a man who can give that to you. And you're with a boy. He's never going to give that to you. And I know you, you're feeling mushy about him and everything like that. But my, my girl, love is an illusion. You are too beautiful to be wasting it on this small boy. Go outside there, eh? I promise you, if you are looking in the streets, there's somebody driving a Benz or a G-Wagon that's going to look at you and all of this covetousness. My dear, don't dolo. Don't sit down here and before me, I'm in love, I'm in love, and allow life to pass you by. Are you listening to me, girl? From a girl to a girl. Yeah. <clears throat> look, I know that you're going to be feeling bad about it right now because you know you have some little baby feelings for him and all that, but in the long run, you are going to be so happy about this, I promise you. Jesus. See, I'm done. I am done too. You cannot subject a young girl like me into internal poverty. Law of fire. Just get lost. Before you ruin my life with your bad luck. I better get out. Go and make your own money. I better get out. See your head, they're even trekking. So I'm guessing we've won again. <laughs> Pretty slick. Well, that's exactly what Love Affair was established for in the first place. But, Riz, do you actually think we're doing the right thing here? Girl, is that even a question? Of course we're doing the right thing. Like, literally how many people are we saving from heartbreak and unrequited love and complete delusional expectations? And millions of people we have inculcated these deceptions into their brain cells. Do you remember these people? Okay, Venus, don't sit here and try to make me out to look like the devil's direct apprentice. You also got a share of the, of the, of the whole situation, didn't you? What happened with Chike, your fiancé? You guys were together for nine years, and then one day he just upped and left you. For your male best friend. And right now, they are prancing around in Atlanta as the best gay couple, and you are sitting here babbling in my face like a baby. How about me? <laughs> what did I get from Lancelot? Hmm? After all the time that we were together, after all the profession of love, he left me at the altar. And then four days later, I had to find out that he married a 65-year-old heiress for money. So please, don't get me started, okay? Please. True. You know, I felt used. My time, my resources, like literally everything. You see what I'm saying? You see? I know what I am doing. I know for a fact that I am saving people from certain misery. Babe, we just have to find our happiness. But happiness doesn't come alone. Yeah, but it doesn't come with love either. I can guarantee you that. In fact, I will, in fact, I will maintain that love is an illusion. It doesn't hold water at all. It's some random chemical reaction in the brain that is like, one second is there and the next is poof. Oh, uh... Yeah, I, whew, I have an appointment with Mr. Joe and I'm running late, so I'll see you later. Okay.
child is not safe. Oh, no, this is cheating. Come you on. are cheating. You no, are cheating. No, 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 babe, no, no. Babe, babe, I won. You cheat. I won. You it was cheat. Wrong, you I won. Cheat. You cheat. You babe, cheat. I this clearly, like I six, clearly won five, you. Six, Five, babe, six, 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 five, six, five, babe, five, six, five. Babe, what's up? Why are you coughing? <coughs> babe, are you choking? <coughs> You're choking, babe, babe. What's up? Ah, what's up? Are you okay? <coughs> babe, <coughs> what, what, what's going on? Are you okay? Should I get water? Okay, you know what? Let me just get water for you. Wait, hold on. <sighs> Ah, <laughs> this girl, you scared me. I'm sorry, I scared you. <laughs> Baby, I love you, right? <laughs> Riz, you know, seven years is no joke. You know, I've spent the middle part of my life with you. And I'm sure you love me. I love you. I love you too, man. Riz, it's high time we make this official. Riz, it's your fault. Yes. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> really? Yes, 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 she yes. Say yes. yes. <laughs> Come on. Oh my gosh. Finally. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. So beautiful. You like it? I love it. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Oh my god. Because I'm getting married. Yes, babe. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Yeah, um, let me just turn this. Okay, well, let's go some good days. This is going so crazy. Yeah, I can see you're happy. Come on, let's, I, let's, let's go somewhere. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God, I like you. I'm getting married. Yeah, babe. All spirits, I'm in love with you. I love Hello, my dearest daughter. And uh, how are you today? I'm fine, Daddy. How is your health? I'm not fine. Why, Daddy? Scarlett, why do you always want me to miss you badly before you come to your daddy? How bad, Daddy? But I told you, I'll be coming in a few weeks' time. There you go again. You keep saying this only to disappoint me at 11 hour. Huh. I'm an old man and I need the company of my child. But you have a new house, Pete. You have Zach, your driver, and you have a new boy, your 
They are my herbs and not from my lungs. I miss you badly. Yeah? Come. I've only seen you twice this year. Is that fair? Daddy, it's a normal thing. No, nothing is normal there. You are not the only one living in London. I once lived in Sedego for 13 years. And I never stopped visiting my parents. Dad. Don't, <laughs> don't daddy me. Well, I passed out on Monday night because I was stressed. Oh God, this man, this man is so melodramatic. Can you stop with the guilt trip? Okay, so why were you depressed? Because I missed you. I missed our gist. I missed father and daughter's jogging. I missed everything. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, heaven, I need a hug. Oh, 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 oh. That is beautiful. Huh? That is wonderful. Oh, I can't wait to see your face again. Good. Are you happy now? I am more than happy. <laughs> you know what, my sugar plum? Uh, I will really prepare for you this time. And uh, I will take you to new places in town. Surprise? Come on! Come on with it! No problem, Daddy. I have to run now. Okay. Uh, please, call me tonight. No, Ted. Come on, I'm your father. You can call me several times. Uh? Love you, Popsy. Oh, I love you more, my sugar plum. Bye, Daddy. <laughs> Bye. Ah, Scarlet. Toby, no, this one that you're flattering me. <laughs> I would be so worse. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then what? <laughs> Baby, tell me now. Babe, tell me. I want to know. <laughs> okay, then that just means that I have to wear that lingerie before Valentine's, isn't it? Okay, I'll be waiting. <laughs> All right, baby, I love you so much. Turn out you're just gonna make me cry. Stop, 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 stop. I love you. I love you. Bye. <laughs> wow, it's definitely going to be the best Val ever, don't you think? Definitely. Right? Me and my fiance, we have so much plan. It's so exciting. Ooh, that was your fiance on the phone just there. Toby's my forever. I mean, look, look, we're getting married. I'm wow. so excited. Congratulations, girl. Yeah, I feel like I'm marrying the most amazing man in this world. You won't understand. Wow. Like, <laughs> those are some really big shoes to fill. And you know, there are a lot of people in the world. So how are you so sure that he is like the most special man, the best, girl. Or the most special? Girl, I know. I know. Mm. Toby is not like all these other men in the world, yeah? He's special. Okay. Okay. That sounds so delicious, actually. So, so I guess you think you're in love, huh? Girl, I know I'm in love. <laughs> eh, well, I mean, <clears throat> from a logical perspective, I think that statement will be think. You think. Because, girl, come on. How do you know for real that it is actually love? I know. Girl, I know he loves me because Toby tells me all the time that he loves me. Mm -hmm. And of course, you wouldn't even understand all the special things he does just for me. <laughs> mm, that's nice. But tell me something, yeah? I want to know, like, what are the things that he says about you, you know, to his friends, his colleagues, his, you know, his family? What are those things that he says that makes you know he cherishes you like that? See, he tries shy. He just tries, but the problem is that Toby is just too shy. He's a shy guy. Shy? <laughs> what do you mean by shy? Girl, doesn't he think that you're worthy enough for the whole world to know just how much he loves and adores you? I mean, look at you. <laughs> you're professing your love for him everywhere. How can you do that for someone who's not doing the same thing for you? I mean... It's either he's selfish or he doesn't really care about you like that. Or he just loves to see you play the fool 
I bet he does. Wait, wait, wait. Are you suggesting that Toby is not in love with me? Girl, then why did he propose? <laughs> is he working? Does he have a job? He's in between jobs right now, but really, okay, what does any that... of those jobs pay him between three hundred to five hundred thousand? No. Okay. Are you working? I work in my dad's firm. It's a law firm. Ooh. So you're a lawyer? Yeah. Oh, you make good money, huh? Yeah. So you feed him, don't you? It's, it's just that sometimes. And you clothe him as well? See, the thing is... You're going to buy some stuff here. I mean, I see you looking at shoes. You're going to buy some stuff from, you know, the shop. Some trousers, some jeans. I saw you looking at a pair of shoes. Right? You are, yeah. huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Girl, let me ask you a question, you know? One good Samaritan to a beautiful young sister. Do you think that Toby would survive a day in this town, this very town that we both live in? Do you think Toby would survive a day in this town without you? Hmm? I mean, is he even job hunting? Is he trying to make any money? I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> Girl, you see, this is the reason why I don't, I do not advocate for relationships at all. Not even to talk of marriage. Because marriage in this day and age for women, <laughs> It's nothing but slavery. It is misery, darling. Trust me. Hmm. Seriously? <laughs> Look, a lot of people are selfish, okay? And they use love as an excuse to get exactly what they want. And your Toby doesn't sound like he's only selfish. He sounds like he's lazy too. And he's using you for nothing more than the free money, the free attention, the adoration, and of course, the constant supply of sex that you give him. And the only thing he can do is pop the question and ask you to marry him and everything. Girl, you need to see this man for who he is before it's too late. The sooner you do, the better your life will be. I mean, he is very possessive. Girl, there you go. He even stopped me from hanging out with all of my male friends. Then he even banned me from every Friday night's bedroom. Ah, red flag, oh. Red flag, my sister, red flag. This Toby is really using me. He is. Girl, you will not even understand how much I have spent on this boy. How much I spend every month. Not to even talk about the food that he consumes. You see? Wow. I was so right. I knew it. I knew. Look, this is the reason why this guy proposed to you. So he can tie you further down. You better shine your eye. <laughs> Thank that you. Is Girl. Girl, thank you so much. This talk has really helped me reevaluate my entire life. Everybody's right. Yeah, they're right. I should be living my life. I should focus on my own life. But no, I'm clinging on to this stupid law. Yeah, illusion. Nothing but an illusion. A scam. A big lie that has been fed to us. And nothing that we do about it is going to give us happiness. We're going to end up in regret. One second. Hello? Toby, we need to talk. Yeah. I wish you all the best, darling. <laughs> so, love is a lie. Excuse me? I'm sorry, uh, but if you don't mind, uh, I couldn't resist listening to your very informative conversation with a lover girl. <laughs> Oh, well, I can guarantee you that love does not exist. I've been in love once, hmm. but does that qualify me to say I beg to you? Difa? Well, you said you were in love once. Yes. Past tense. So no, I'm sorry, you are not qualified to have an opinion on the subject. But you can't say love is an illusion. <laughs> I bet I can make you fall in love with me right now. Well, I mean, I bet you could, but then again, it wouldn't actually last forever, would it? No. We'd merely be infatuated with each other long enough to actually believe that we're in love. But then, eventually the feelings or whatever it is will fade. And we're going to end up as two horrible people coexisting and just pretty much just being nasty to each other. And the spark that we lost, we'd be finding it with other people elsewhere. So what's the point? So you go around preaching the gospel of no love. <laughs> I help wherever I'm needed, you know. <laughs> you are just breaking what would have been a happy love affair. <laughs> That's actually funny. Because <laughs> I own a firm called Love Affair. A firm? 
Yes. I am a therapist. Well, I mean, a love doctor if you oversimplify it. Look, I don't break people up. I just simply help people evaluate their priorities. You know what I mean? So you're saying people should remain single? You know, look at it this way. When you fall in love or you think you fell in love with someone, you're only falling for them based on your perception of them at the time. It's, it's unrealistic to actually think that they're going to be like that in real life. Come on. Instead of deceiving yourself and catching feelings and falling in love and getting your heart broken, just have fun with that shit. Just, just you know, catch some cheap thrill and be done with it. If you ask me. <laughs> oh, well, uh, you do have a nice way of supporting your radical claims. <laughs> mm. uh, <laughs> but then, uh, you're crazy and I like you. <laughs> You know what? Here. Thanks. I do believe I have a card right here. Yes. There you go. You've been a victim of love once before, and I have a feeling you're going to fall for it again. So, there, just in case you need me. Love affair. Mm -hmm. Miss Riz, mm -hmm. are you a happy woman? Well, yeah, actually. I can say that I am very happy. Enough joy here to choke a fat baby. <laughs> I'll see you around, Mr. Oh, call me Otuma Lanio. Ah, it's been a pleasure speaking with you here. Same here. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's my card, remember. Only use that if you need me, but I do hope that you have no reason or obligation to use that card. Definitely, I will not. <laughs> All right, then. Did it? Yes, babe. Welcome to Nigeria. Your dad, uh, you think he's going to like me? I mean, you know, uh, he doesn't even know I exist. I know, but I told him I have a surprise for him. And besides, my dad wants me to be happy. And anything that makes me happy, you would approve, and you make me happy. I know. So. Just kind of thinking about it, because you and your dad, you guys have a very special relationship. I don't want him thinking I'm coming to take his, his <laughs> little girl away. <laughs> I know. My dad is a friendly fellow, OK? I'm sure he will like you as much as he loves me. And besides, it's the dream of every parent for their child to find an amazing partner like you. If you say so. <sighs> Don't worry, okay? We're fine. Hmm? And if you change your mind now, trust me, you're going back to London. <laughs> and you'll be trekking. <laughs> you're gonna trek. <laughs> That's not going to happen. That's yeah. not going to happen at all. Just relax. Uh, Let's go I see will, my dad. I'll try. You'll be fine. Let's go. Let's go and see your dad. Yeah. Let's go and see him. <laughs> Wow, oh, it's been a long time I came here. Yeah. Everything has so. changed. So much. You, Daddy. How are you? I'm good. You look good. <laughs> so, uh, you look good. good. You look good. How have you been? And you too. I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. Wow. It's been a long My time. My sugar plum. Mm. Don't worry. You are going to enjoy every minute of your stay. I know. <laughs> I know, Daddy. Hey. <laughs> Is that the... Surprise! Who is this? Oh. Come on. Meet my dad. 
Cool. Yes. Dad, meet Jace. He's my fiance. And Jace, my dad. Yeah, so nice to meet you, sir. Yeah, Jace. I don't understand. You were engaged? Dad, I've been engaged for two years now. <sighs> two years and you didn't tell me. You didn't tell your father. Dad, you never bo I know you care about me, okay? But don't worry, I'm a woman. And eventually I'll have to get married. To him? Dad, I love him, okay? But he takes very good care of me. What are you talking about? You mean you don't like the fact that uh, I care about the well-being of my daughter? Daddy, I'm not a kid anymore, okay? We just got here, and you're being weird. So what do you think Jess would think? I don't live to please him. I don't. <sighs> Daddy, you don't even know him. Exactly my point. You need to kick him out this very minute before it's too late. <sighs> Daddy, I love him, okay? Just give him a chance. You're gonna go out there? Take his hands, shake him, and act like he's your son, all right? I never ask for a son. Ah, you have one, Daddy. Let's go. Let's go. My dad. Um, sir, it's so nice to finally meet you. I've heard a lot of great things about you. Jake? Um, no, it's Jace, sir. It's Jace. Jace, so my dad wants you to know that you're welcome to the family and he's so happy that you're with his lovely daughter, okay? Really? Mm? Oh, it's past lunch time. Come on. Let's go have something to eat. Um, Let's go. Sir, um, she's just, uh, I want you to know that you have a beautiful, great, wonderful daughter. Um, she's intelligent. She's everything a man would dream of and uh, I'm so I'm so blessed to have her in my life. She is indeed. Um Scarlett. Oh, yeah. Sir, Let's go. go. Yes. Martins! Uh, get back. the bags. Yeah, we're back. Uh, Let's go. Yes, sir. It's uh, uh, scary. I know, just pay in your mind, okay? It's always like <laughs> Daddy. The food is really good, sir. Really, really good. Sure. I am rich enough, wealthy enough, very wealthy, so I can afford a very good cook. Just like uh, I can afford everything, anything my darling daughter would ever want in a million lives time. Dad. So, Jess, yes, sir. are you having sex with my daughter? What? Um, well, I, um, abstinence. Hmm? Yeah, abstinence. Hmm? The way, yeah. We go abstinence like that. So, have you considered having a vasectomy? What? No. Why would I even think of that? No. He doesn't mean that. Of course I do. No, you don't. At least that will guarantee me that um, he won't play any funny games with you. Listen, I am never getting a vasectomy. <laughs> I think you better do. Okay. Please, can we just change the topic? Well, um, so, Jess, tell me, I want to know more about you. Where are you from? Anambra. And uh, your parents, what do they do? I mean, 
for living. My parents are separated. My dad is a carpenter. Still lives in the village. That's what he enjoys doing. My mom, she's working in a convenience store. She's been working there for a long time. Son of a carpenter. Yeah, yeah son of a carpenter. Dad, Jace is a successful real estate entrepreneur. Hmm? <laughs> I have worked, sir, in a real estate business for a while now. Five years in the UK. And uh, yes, I've made my bone, most especially in London. I have my own business. <laughs> Son of nobody. Strongly had to be worth something. <laughs> now, tell me, how did you make it to London? By foot? That's enough, Daddy. Oh, come on, my daughter. I just want to know more about my future son in law. Are you sure? Or you're just trying to ruin dinner and everything else? <laughs> you know what, Chief? I know you have doubts about me being with your daughter, but I am not a cheap. Go digger. I care about your daughter. That's why I'm with her. Hope you understand that. You know what? I'm done with this. Let's go to bed. And let me tell you, sir. We started on a bad foot. I hope you realize it's not my fault. It's all yours. I don't have to explain anything to you. You better not be sleeping in the same bedroom with him. I will, Daddy. No! He hasn't got me the vasectomy yet. Just deal with it, Daddy. You're not even in love. Just infatuated. An illusion that will soon end up in tears. Apparently, your dad doesn't want me to have anything to do with you. That's what I think. Of course, you know. He's just being overprotective. No, no, no. He thinks I'm a poor, wretched gold digger. Come on, Faith. My dad doesn't mean that. He just said it to make you feel... Look, uh, maybe I didn't use the right word, but it still means the same thing. You know? He thinks I'm poor. He thinks I'm after you for your money. Chase. My dad... It's not used to the idea of me bringing a man home. And we're even engaged. So just give him some time. He's going to warm up to you, okay? Hmm? <sighs> okay, um, I think you're right. Maybe I should try to calm things down by inviting him out for a guy's guy kind there of stuff like that. And there you go. Hang out and you know, talk more. Mm. Think it's gonna work? That's perfect. It's good. Yeah. So instead of just standing here and That's talking about my dad, please, I've had a very long day, yeah. and I need some massage. So you need some massage. Massage. Okay. Back. So after yeah. massage yeah, service, when I go back, and you.
have a winner. Yeah. He cheated. Oh my God, Dad. He, he cheated. Dad, this is not part of the game. Come on. Otumba, so you're proud of yourself, Can right? You Otumba, you cheated. Hey. Dad, come hey. on. This is I not have part of the won. game. You've won. You've won. You've won. You've won. Really? You're proud of yourself, right? Uh, wow. One, you're proud of yourself. Huh? Dad. Otumba. Dad. Otumba. Oh my, Otumba. Oh my God. Dad, Otumba. are you okay? <laughs> hey. Dad, are you Hey, Help! Wait, let me let me get a car. Let me get a car. What's up? Daddy, come on, Daddy. Oh, Dad. Oh. You're awake. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the most reckless and stupid thing you've ever done. I won. Didn't I? What point were you trying to prove? I mean, to what end? It's to prove a point. And uh, I believe it was heard louder. Oh, I know. I, I did all for you and I won. Dad, just try and rest, okay? You're so naughty. <sighs> try and. Such a naughty daddy. That's why I love you, though. Mm -hmm. Just try and rest, okay? Mm -hmm. Well done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Daddy. Jace is making something delicious for everyone today. I hope he doesn't poison us all. Dad. Jace did a crash cooking course in London. Did you know that? Did you know that I also went to Harvard? Did you? Oh. Where's the other? Don't come. Oh. Don't come. Harvard.com <laughs> online. Yes, I'm also a graduate. And just to play it on, <laughs> doesn't, but dang. Mm. This is to prove to you that I'm learned, experienced, and some chummy. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals, they take us higher The night's young And it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine We wanna chase the night Running wild 
down in the freezing water to fetch it for you. No. What? You left it there all through the winter. I remember this one. That's not how I remember the story. Mm. How do you remember it? I actually jumped in the freezing water and you were like <laughs> so excited. Like, you know, your savior had come. My darling, whatever. You don't believe me, right? I said, whatever. I'm sorry. For what? Everything that happened tonight wasn't your fault. My dad, he can't just accept the fact that I'm a grown woman. I can make my own decisions, you know. And he's old, you know. Mm -hmm. And they say, if you can't beat them, you join them. You join them, right? Yes. Okay, darling. Yeah. What? Mm. You want to join me? Where? Hmm? Ah, you're being to naughty. To do what? To hmm? do what? Come on, bed. Okay. Hmm? Let me shut the door. We don't want another one of your dad's episodes. How do I put an end to this silly thing they call love? Stupid. Where is? What for? We have a client. Okay, I'm on break now. This man sounds like he's in serious problem. Like he is so desperate. Above all, he is loaded. Loaded? Oh, okay. Hmm. Loaded, like how loaded? Like loaded, loaded? Loaded, loaded. Hmm. That's the kind of client we need right now so we can make the down payment on the new office space. I'm on a break a big now. Look, my food. Really? Who made the rules that we can't take jobs while on break? That would happen to be me, yes. So, can't you break your own rules? Can't I catch a break? <sighs> like, literally, I'm, I'm actually catching the break and you're about to break it. Okay, fine, fine. Just this once. So do I call him? Just this one. Just, you can, you can send him. Please. Take out this, your phone. Hello? Someone can That's him, that's him, that's him. Wait, just wait, wait. Hello? What a nice place you have here. <laughs> the feisty man from the boutique. <laughs> you both know each other. Oh yeah, I gave him my card. Please, sir, please, have a seat. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, so, sir, do you, do you need my help or are you here to exchange words with me again? <laughs> I mean, tell me something. The, the woman in question, what exactly could she have done to you to make you take this route to get rid of her? Did she cheat on you? Because that has been a pandemic for the past one week. I don't need help for myself, but for my daughter. She's in some fling of a relationship uh, with some low-life uh, idiot who wants nothing but her all to himself. Well, um, I mean, why don't you just tell them that yourself? Well, um, I want you to convince them that they are not meant for each other, that they are better off alone. Cold. Now, 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 listen. I'm ready to pay whatever amount this will cost. Huh. Mm hmm Okay. All right. I definitely will help you out. Great. Yeah. Easy peasy. So, you're going to have to do something for me. You have to get them to come for therapy. Uh, no, 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 no. This is not a therapy issue. You want me to talk to them or not? Of course I do. Fine, then get them to come to therapy. Can you feel your condition right? Ah. Uh. Uh. 
Hi, How, How are you, are you my daughter? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yes, my son. Yes. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I am very sorry the way I treated you earlier on. It's not in my character. You see, it's just that uh, I love my daughter's calling very well. And uh, I didn't know of your existence until uh, I, uh, she brought you home. It's okay, sir. I totally understand. My parents went through the same phase uh, with uh, my darling girl. So I totally understand you. All right? Well, uh, I'm in a full support of whoever Scarlett chooses to marry. Are you serious, Dad? Of course. I want your happiness. <laughs> Come on, my son, Bean. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, Thank you. I told you. I was going to change this um, Thank but, you, Daddy. But uh, you have to see my therapist. But, Dad, why do we need to see a therapist? Black people don't do therapy. Exactly. <laughs> but, well, you just have to. And that is the only condition that will guarantee my <laughs> full fledged support <laughs> and uh, the blessings, too. Do we really have to see this therapist? No, uh, see that, it's fine. All right? If this is a test of our love, we just show them we love, okay? All right? Huh? Are you sure you want to do this? I want to do it, all right? Where are my children? Ah, uh, she's a marriage counselor, a relationship coach, and a love doctor. We run a firm downtown called a love affair. You see, both of you need to see her so that uh, she can evaluate the state of your relationship so we can be sure that uh, both of you are perfect for each other. You see, the worst part of love is falling for the wrong person. Am I correct? Hey, you are my right person. Hmm? You're my right person. <laughs> okay, Dad. So, after this, no more troubles. No more troubles. No more therapists. All yeah. right. We'll do it then. We'll do it. Yeah. We'll see the therapist, okay? Okay. All right, darling. Come here. Um, I'll leave you two for you. To be with yourself. Come on. <laughs> so, yeah, not don't worry about it, right? Mm. All right, she's ready to see you now. Okay. okay. Oh, please, it's one at a time. Yes, one at a time. Okay, let me go first. Let's go. So we have a policy here that you answer all questions put before you and then we can offer you some help. Not like I need your help, but well, go ahead. <laughs> okay, well, that remains to be seen. Um, where did you meet Jace? Jace and I, we've been friends. Best friends. Hmm. So, yeah, we love each other and we decided to get married. Hmm. So, you believe that being best friends qualifies you for full-blown matrimony? Don't they say marry your best friend? <laughs> Scarlett, come on. You know there's a difference between friendship and marriage, right? I mean, what if he still sees you as just a friend? Of course not. We love each other. Hmm? We have sex. And yeah, we're planning to get married. Okay, I mean, uh, if, if I'm to understand you, sex has moved you from friendship to lovers, right? Do you sleep with your friends? <laughs> um, how exactly are you sure that you like Jace? I mean, what if you're just settling for him because he's the only available person in your life right now? I mean, look at you. A woman like you should have standards. Come on, what are your specs? 
I don't have specifics. Oh, come on. Everybody has a spec. I mean, if I look at Jace, I can... I guess I could surmise that he could use a bit more height, you know? Maybe his beard could be fuller. And he has some really nice, high, crisp oh, cheekbones. Crisp cheekbones. Mm. There you go, girl. You have, you have specs, Joe. <laughs> but, but really, really, why do you want to settle for Jace? You're gorgeous. He's just your bestie. Well, if you must know, I've always been the odd one amongst the crowd. And yeah, Jace loves me beyond that. Okay. Just, excuse me, just uh, taking some notes down. So let me guess, or let me take a wild stab in the dark. You are settling for him because you believe that you're not going to find anybody better than him. And he's obviously settling for you because he knows that you're not going to find anybody better than him. It's... I mean, it's so cut and dry. Listen. Jace loves me. Okay, he loves you. But then again, <laughs> I don't see that he has a choice. Let's look at the logic on ground. He's poor, you're rich. You're completely obsessed with him. You give him practically anything he wants. I mean, right now, the only logical thing for him to do would be to throw you this pity marriage as, you know, as a thank you, pretty much. You know what? I've had enough. Go to hell. Hello. Yeah, please have a seat. Thank you. So I hear that you are the bestie. That's not entirely true. I love her. How do you know that? Because she is the best thing that has ever happened to me. Before Scarlet, I met a lot of other women and none of them, none of them has what she has. Hmm. And what exactly would that be? She cares deeply and she's always there. Hmm. Well, I mean, she clearly has no other choice but to be nice. That's how sad people behave. Excuse me? I'm guessing she has a problem. Yeah, something that fuels her low self-esteem. Something that makes her believe that she is unworthy of ever finding somebody better than you out there. That's why she's, you know, settling for her bestie. And you, on the other hand, you're just a guy desperately looking for love. And you will settle for the first woman who, who picks up your calls and calls you back consistently. My brother, what you people have is, is not love. It's codependency and self-pity and low self-esteem. Enemy of love strikes again. <laughs> Is it the enemy of love? <laughs> Girl, that was the easiest money I've ever made. <laughs> it felt like, it kind of felt more like a hypnosis session. It wasn't like regular therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait until they get home. Just wait until they get home. What have you done? <laughs> Excuse me, you are talking to the genius. I know, right? You are talking to the one and I only know. love destructor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel so sorry for them. I don't feel sorry for them at all. In fact, he was, he actually was looking at me. He had this look on his face like, how dare you say this to me? <laughs>
I'm sure. My dad, he doesn't give up easily at all. I smelt a rat. Immediately he suggested therapy. And Reese, she's been there turning all our good intentions into bad things, you know? Yeah. You know, she said a lot of things and she made me think about things I'd never thought about before. Really? What? Do you love me? What? Of course I do. After everything we've been through, I can never leave you or abandon you. Okay? You're not just saying this out of pity, are you? Why are you even asking me these things? It's because of Reese, right? Everything she said to me. Look, listen to me. I want you to erase every single thing Reese has said to you. Just take it out of your head and make this your mantra that I, Jace, will not leave you, nor forsake you, that I love you. You are more precious to me than gold. You are more precious to me than diamond. And I will trek the Arabian desert barefooted for you, I swear. You're so sweet. Don't I just love you? Come here. That bastard. Riz, is this some sort of joke? Riz isn't around right now. Why don't you come to the office tomorrow? Shut it, there was stupid office. Riz failed to do exactly what I paid her for. Come on, she did it like magic in the boutique. So why is mine so different? Please come to the office tomorrow. Good night, sir. Hello? Hello? You have to beg me. Please. Uh -uh, not Please, enough. Beg me. No? <laughs> <laughs> Are you good? Look at that. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dad, you've been there all this while? Oh, oh no. Uh, just on my way out. Okay, so where are you going? Business, of course. Where else do you expect me to go? Good, mo good morning, sir. Morning, sir. This my dad. He's like, he's such a character. <laughs> I saw it. Pay him no mind. Beg. Beg. It's okay. It's it Calm down. It's gone. Thank you. I'll give you now. Hmm. This is interesting. I've never been wrong. So if everything they told us is the version of the truth, then does that mean they're actually in love? What? Does that mean that love actually exists? Well, this love I don't approve. I want my baby back. I'm sorry. I want my sugar plum back. <laughs> so if it's not love, then they're hiding something. Something big, something deep. Something which binds Jace to Scarlet no matter what. Uh, you mean some sort of covenant? Eh, but not the blood kind. Something psychological. It has to be. Nah, it has to be. Because, trust me, I've proven time and time again, beyond all reasonable doubt, that love is a lie. So, uh, so what are you going to do now? Hmm. This is beyond my therapy. <sighs> Sir. You will get your daughter back because I have now taken it upon myself to exterminate whatever emotion is between Jason and Scarlett. 
Oh. Uh, so, uh, how much will this cost me? <laughs> this is personal now. Mm, I'll do this one for free. Oh, heaven, I need another hug. Please. Ah, I love your energy. Thank Please. you. Please keep me updated. Um, whatever way you think and I can assist, I will come up. That's fine. I'm not a problem. I'm on it right now. Ah. Have a lovely day, sir. And you too. Once again, thank you. Yes. Okay, I have my work cut out for me. Girl, <laughs> trust me, those couple are so tough. No, 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 no. Their, their connection or their bond or whatever is just stubborn. When I talk to them, I mean, they had the same insecurities, the same uncertainties, the same notions as every stupid, blind lover person out there. So if it bleeds, I can kill it. So what do you intend to do exactly? Seduce the hell out of Jace. Oh, he's going to fall for you. Obviously. And when he is trampled upon Scarlet's heart, I will in turn trample upon his, and he will leave Nigeria a broken man. Girl, that's so harsh. I'm not even done yet. He will leave Nigeria a broken man with one lesson and one lesson to teach that there is no such thing as love. It is nothing but a big scam. So that's like catching trails and not feelings. You know, babe, high five me please. That's how we do this. <laughs> so we are on another crazy adventure right now. You know how we do. Father-in-law introduced my fiance and I too. Yeah, you were the one. Whoa. Okay. For your information, I knew it was a fake. I knew it was all set up. But it's okay. Are you even a real therapist? <laughs> Excuse me. Of course I am. Oh, you are. Yes. <laughs> do you do you do you even remember me? Do you know me? Okay, oh, sir. Yeah. Whoever you are, I hope you realize that I see patients often literally by the hour. So you don't expect me to recognize all of you, do you? Yeah, you do. <laughs> Therapist. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> yeah. So wait, I gave you advice? Yes, you did. Huh. Mm -hmm. And how is that working out for you? No, I didn't take your advice because I knew you were wrong from the beginning. Scarlett and I, we are in love with each other. So Scarlett, I Scarlett. knew she's <gasps> right. Oh. You remember? <laughs> you remember? <laughs> Yes, I remember now. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you, you say that she loves you, huh? How do you even know something like that? I feel it. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. feel it? Like, what, you're like Professor X now, huh? You can, I don't know, telekinesis? You can feel what she feels? No, when you put it like that, but <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. I know what I feel. It's a connection. It's there. We know it's true. It's real. And we can. I, I, I think the gentleman protests too much, you know. I mean, it's 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 okay. I mean, I guess I did my job. I can't say that I'm disappointed. Mm. Mm. Yes, you did. Mm. Okay. <laughs> well, All right. Okay. okay, I'm just hey. have a nice day. Um. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can we can we be friends? You're quite interesting. Can we be friends? Uh you you what what was your name again? I I I 
trust me, I have a lot of friends, okay? I don't need any more friends. Okay, then <laughs> let me hire you. Yeah. Hire you know? me? Yeah, it's easier, right? Since we can't be friends, but you can work for me. For what exactly? Um, let's see, a oh, part of me actually do believe what you said. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's this part of me that is uh, constantly nagging inside, telling me that why do I have to let go of what I have scarlet already when it's perfect? Mm. Well, congratulations. The session wasn't a complete waste of time. This, this, <laughs> this is a challenge. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, what is this challenge gonna involve? Yeah, I, 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 um, I make you fall for me. Ooh. Yeah. And then I prove you wrong that love actually do exist, you know? And um, in that, you know, you know that all your words to me and my fiance were wrong, null and void. Yeah. Ah, you're joking right now. I'm serious, dear, serious. <laughs> okay. Wait, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, that sounds like an adventure, but then... um. I have to ask a question. You know you're the one who's engaged, right? So, what happens if you fall for me? Impossible. It's not gonna happen. First of all, I am the therapist now in this uh, new arrangement, <laughs> and you are uh, Miss. Um, just, just call me Reese. Everybody calls me Reese. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Reese. Okay. Um, Jace. I guess you already know my name. <laughs> Pretender. Mm. <laughs> well, first of all, for the record, I'm not pretending. And I just remembered you right now. And second of all, mm. I accept your challenge. You do? Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, I actually have a card on me somewhere. Great. Yes, this one right here. Jace, mm -hmm. do call me whenever you're ready. Yeah. In the uh, meantime, I have shopping to do. Have a nice day. Enjoy your shopping. You too. Yeah. <laughs> and get ready to be beaten, right? <laughs> Yeah, baby. Why are you taking so long? Just um, uh, well, lady trying to get something here. Yeah. I got oh, okay. Yeah. Good. Put it, put it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, better. Thank you. All right. Come on, let's go. Let him push. It's okay. Him push it's okay, tomorrow. darling. Okay. It's okay, darling. I'll push it. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah. I thought you said you were going to seduce me. Well, <laughs> as it turns out, he opted to seduce me instead. <laughs> I hope he knows he's venturing into a land of no return. <laughs> you know, the funniest thing is that I think he's having doubts about his feelings for Scarlett, right? But he doesn't want to admit it for whatever reason. Instead, he's just staying dumb and playing the victim. Like turn the tables and make it seem like love is not as fake as he already knows at the back of his mind. <laughs> So what? What are we going to call this one now? Reverse therapy. <laughs> then okay. he's an idiot. Like, he's a very big fool. Like, just dump the girl and have your peace. Not stick it on your love doctor's face. That's so messed up. <laughs> uh, he is on his own. I don't feel sorry for him at all. Whatever deception he wants to deceive himself. <laughs> Look, I think he's here. Mm -hmm. So I'll see you. Okay. Love doctor. You know how we do. <laughs> Wow, someone is wearing red today. Hey, you. You look amazing. <laughs> Thank Kinda you very much. Sexy, though, man. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could say the same for you. Um, oh. You look all right. Look oh, good. Yeah, well, yeah, slightly above all right. Slightly above all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> oh, all right, just for clarity, you know, um, I'm going to cut to the chase. Um, we have, um, okay, I don't even know how to say it. Um, <laughs> we, we have something, something going on. I'm not going to say dating because that would mean I, um, I'm cheating on Scarlett. And that would also validate your assertion that um, love, doesn't um, actually exist, you know? Hmm. Well, okay. 
whatever you say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how about you hit me with your best shot? Why did you do that? Oh, come on, it's just a kiss. You were nervous. I just wanted you to relax in my company. No, for the records, I wasn't nervous. I was kind of just looking at you. Uh, just to be clear on that one, I'm not intimidated by you. Are you sure? Not even a little bit? No, not at all. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> all right, so, uh, uh, tell me something, tell me, tell me about yourself. Let's talk about you. Mm. Okay, do you, do you want to know how I learned to kiss like that? Hmm? Come on, stop messing with me. <laughs> no, I'm not messing with you. How about... Can you just stop blushing? Ooh, I'm making you uh, blush, yeah, baby. Just, come on. Huh? <laughs> All right, you know what? If you don't want to talk about yourself, I'm going to start talking about me. Oh, okay, really? Mm, yeah. So, I was uh, born in Anambra. Oh my God, he's actually telling me about himself. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, I mean, I lived right. there for a while before mm -hmm. I relocated to London. Studies. Uh, you got pretty lips. I got some pretty lips too. So, you want to see? What are you wearing? This is my night sweat. It's a PJ. So what's wrong with PJ? You need to try and look more sexy, especially in the night, though. <laughs> okay. Good night. Jokes, but um, mm -hmm. <laughs> you probably should get home. No, 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 no. come on, tell me more. Huh? <laughs> wow, you find me interesting, huh? Well, well, anyone who dares to mess with the order of human emotional existence is bound to be interested. Yeah, I, um, I do find you interesting. Okay, so it's a long story, but I'm gonna try it and abbreviate it yeah so basically i just it was tough but i learned not to live my life you know expecting affirmations from other people to to feel good about myself you know mm. i didn't have to live waking up every morning doing everything in my power to make them love me kiss me tell me i'm pretty tell me i'm special make me feel safe and admired and i just it was just such hard work. And then one day they're gonna wake up and tell me that I'm the worst decision that they ever made. And I'm plunged into literal darkness and pain and sorrow. And, and then I just realized I don't have to live like that, you know? I don't have to I don't have to base my worth on other people's affirmations. People who didn't even need me to cajole them to breathe or to be happy in their own lives. I mean, why would I do that? No. No, so I decided not to make the same mistakes twice, you know? Yeah, I'm pretty much happy all the time. Because pretty much my heart has no space for useless emotions. That's it. Hey, are you... Are you sure you're happy all the time? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Even when you're lonely, you're so happy, like lonely happy. <laughs> Alone happy. <laughs> Well, I mean, it is what it is, right? So you have to make the most of it. Adapt or die, remember? Okay, I get it. But uh, relationship is not just meant for love. It's uh, meant for companionship. You know, that person who's always there, mm -hmm. there for you, you can count on, you know? That's what it's about. 
I mean, that sounds amazing. But then what if they wake up one day and decide that they don't want to be there anymore? Then you find someone else. <laughs> yeah, in an ideal world, that would be awesome. But I mean, what if you look for this other person and you never find them? Word is very, very big. You will find somebody else, I mean. Yeah, I can. In fact, I can give you another saying with that. It's like there's plenty of fish in the sea. But the real question is, what if you keep looking for this person that we want the person this specific person that we like and we admire and we crave and we just keep looking for them over and over for the rest of our lives and we never find them what happens then are you sure you're happy or you just have a perfect way of masking your feelings like you um you know how to uh, not focus on those things that make you sad and uh their body makes you to look like you're happy but <laughs> in sincerity you are not so are you happy you are psychoanalyzing me now <laughs> that's interesting you should go home you definitely should go home all right okay all right all right i think i've been super nice to you i've been nicer than many women i will probably talk to you know one two love me or fall in love with yeah i have been super good to you so i think i deserve one more question <laughs> okay what, what's the question is it working <laughs> oh. you it? know you know that thing you said about um me not thinking about the things that make me sad Mm -hmm. That kind of went deep. Ooh. But you have to try harder than that. Wow. Come on. <laughs> what should I you do? You have to try harder. What else should I do? And another thing is, if I didn't know better, I would say that I successfully made you fall for me. <laughs> what? Hubris. <laughs> Hubris. All right, come on. So you should that. go. You should go. Come here. Come here. All right. Go home. Go home. All right. Okay. <laughs> um. Him, huh? Kiss. No, I. No, I mean. Oh, no, this. <laughs> it's uh. No, I know. I know what it looks like, but I, I didn't kiss anybody. I swear, I, I didn't kiss. In fact, I, I, I think I hugged uh, somebody, but no. No, I didn't kiss anybody. If you say so, Oma. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, sir. Uh, uh, sir, tipped on water? Uh, no, uh, fine. Uh, uh, but it just me. Oh, okay. That's nice, sir. Can, can you not tell Scarlett about this? Uh, I'll take care of it, please. Okay, by me. Thank you. Uh, yeah. uh, Going upstairs. I need some water. No, no, I said I'm fine. I'm good. Uh, thank you. I just gotta retire. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not tired. I'm strong. It's just uh, I'm not tired. I just, <laughs> just want to see her scarlet. So, all right. Scarlet. She has just sneaked into the house with lipstick all over his body. I, I swear I didn't do anything. How did I do anything wrong? I, I didn't do anything wrong myself. I that? just went out to, you know, see a friend, you know? So that makes two of us. It's not what you think. I know how it looks, but it's not what you think. Go on. Explain yourself. I, um... 
Ah, yeah. Um. You see? You can't. You can't. Jace, you're new in town. There are loads of desperate girls that will do anything to be with a man from London. Do not let them succeed. Because if they do, I'll mother you. Yes. I will let this slide. Don't let it repeat itself again. Uh, Miss Colin, I'm so sorry. Like, uh, I'm just, just I'm sorry. Sorry for your big head. I was just uh, going to the bathroom and uh, have my shower. Just know you're not sleeping here tonight. Getting any redemption, am I? I'm still not talking to you. But you just talk to me. Or oh, the words you said don't matter. Whatever. Say so. Hey, darling. Come on. What? Scarlet. I love you. And I can never love another woman like you. That's why you are the only one. Right? Mm. Love it. Thank you. Am I forgiven? Come, Come here. here. What? Who's that? He's not picking. <laughs> Are you sure he's not going to get murdered? What? Nah. Well, Scarlett doesn't strike me as a dramatic nor violent type of person, so, eh, he's alright. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea who this What do you mean you don't know? Check it. She's calling back. How do you know it's she? Oh. So you're into men now? Look, there is a possible explanation for this, but... Take your call. Check it. Prove me wrong. What is this? I, I don't know. I, I don't... I don't know who this person is. So you're is. playing with me? I'm not playing with you. What do you mean by I'm playing with you? What are so you doing? Playing... What are you doing Come now? back here. You're playing with me, right? It's switched off. <laughs> he probably broke it. <laughs> Get her away from me, Otumba. Get her. I didn't, I didn't do anything. I swear. The setup. They set me up. I had. I didn't do anything. Daddy. I swear, Scarlett. Daddy. Scarlett. Calm down. We can talk this over, okay? I know he's a cheat, but calm down. Daddy. He has a side cheek. I know. <laughs> Baby mama. Very well, no. Side bay. Oh girl, they all saved up on his phone. All saved with no. God's images. No. You think I'm in shock? Don't go back to the car. Where are you going? Where are you going? Don't go back to the car. Where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah, it's working out well. Riz, you slime manipulative witch. 
Scarlett, take it easy, Scarlett, take it easy. No, I didn't do anything. It was a setup. It was a setup. So you're cheating on me, Dave. You're cheating on me. It me. was. A... I'm not. I didn't do anything. I swear, Scarlett, I didn't do anything. I swear to you. So, all the late nights, the lipstick stains. I didn't do anything. It's it's all a setup. Please believe me. It's all a setup. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I want is just for us to have a good life. Me too. To be happy, I, 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 I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for all of this. Please, Scarlett, you know me. Believe me, I didn't do anything, all right? Look, I, I need you to calm down, okay? Just, just calm down, okay? Just... Don't touch me! Don't. It's okay. It's okay. So what's next? Well, what's next is that he will need a shoulder to cry on, which is where I come in, and that's when the real cheating begins. <laughs> this is going so nicely according to plan. So cute. <laughs> I met someone last week, and he said he loves me. Ugh, please. I want to puke already. The funny thing, it's funny though. What is? It, it's been a long time someone said they love me. So? I remember how long we've been in this business. And how many men I chased away because I believed if I loved someone, they would, they would fuck me up. Yes. It got me thinking and questioning. See? I love you, Venus. Venus. There. Are you satisfied now? Please. Hmm? Did it bring back some memories? Did it make you feel warm and fuzzy in your tummy? Oh. Did it spice the cockles of your heart? Oh, please, you're being annoying right now. No, you're annoying. Snap out of it, please. Uh -uh, what's wrong with you? Men are what? Men are scum. That's what you always say. Because it's the truth. Girl, come on. <laughs> you know, you know what? Here. Take these phones and return them to the other staff, please. I don't want to be liable for losing. <laughs> Congratulations. Wonderful job. You're so amazing. <laughs> warned you about baseball. I told you. I didn't say anything good about him right from the first day he stepped his foot on this ground. I saw everything about the body. He was a gold digger. What is after it's a wealth. And obviously I'm not going to allow that to happen. Relax. Okay? Daddy, do you think I'm overreacting? Um, no, not at all. Not at all. You're doing the right thing here. Yeah. Ever since we came back here, I mean, Chase, Chase was, I don't know. And this was bound to happen. It's happening for real, for your own good. Listen, let me tell you, it's not too late now. It's still quite early. You just have to take a drastic action. I mean, do away with him. Or do you want to end up with such a promiscuous man like Chase? Never, I will never allow that. Listen. How do you think my friend would feel if I tell them that my daughter is getting married to a carpenter there, son? No, 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 no. Look, you're still very early, okay? Calm down. Okay? Hmm? Dad, I love him. Mm. I don't know, I don't know. Do you think I didn't give him the chance to explain himself? Maybe there's a better explanation to this. I just, I don't want to end up just destroying the relationship that we've built. You won't destroy it. And if you're talking about love, uh, you there are so many others that uh, you can love. I can match make you with some of my rich friends and uh, children. Daddy, I love Chase. I just want to be with him. <sighs> Is that all you're getting? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just thinking. It. Wow, this is interesting. Yeah, I mean, I've been confused. I don't even know how to approach the issue. I mean, I called the numbers back. Hmm. None of them is going through. I don't even know how to go program to my phone in the first place. Hmm. Hmm. Honestly, from everything you've told me, 
it sounds like someone is trying to set you up. That's what I think. And <laughs> you know what? I won't put it past your father-in-law. My best bet. I think the same. How are you doing though? I'm you trying. Okay? I'm trying to hold up so, don't, so I don't go crazy in their house. Hey, did you get did you get a good night's sleep? I tried. I've been restricted to the couch for the past few days. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. How about food? I had burger. What? Yeah, burger. I <laughs> that's not food, that's like a snack. Yeah, good one, big one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. But anyway, I'm I'm going home so I can make something light, you know. You're coming with me. No, I don't think that would be a good idea. Come on. But that was not a request. I didn't even ask politely. I made a statement. You're coming with me. And that's that. Yes, ma'am. Good. Now let's go to the two. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Welcome to my humble abode. Please make yourself comfortable. Wow. I guess. Wow. So therapy is actually profitable after all. <laughs> what? This old place? Mm -hmm. Please. Besides, I don't get all my money from my work. Some of my clients can't afford to pay me. Oh, why? So is it like a pro bono kind of situation? <laughs> pro bono? Well, I didn't say they don't pay me. Oh. All right, so is there another method of payments I don't know about? Well, in a manner of speaking. Ah, is that how my father-in-law Otomba paid you? <laughs> Jace, mm. I have absolutely nothing to do with your father-in-law, okay? Oh, oh, sorry, I didn't say that. Spaghetti or noodles? Uh, uh... Kitchen is this way. I guess noodles. Be <laughs> careful. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Oh, trust me. I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh. I'm a woman. I learned well. Okay. I studied well. <laughs> okay. You went to school to learn how to cook. That's the best thing to do. Yeah. Please. A woman's touch is completely unparalleled, okay? All right. Then let's do a little challenge. Um, I'm going to go with the same noodles, exactly the same thing, using the same ingredients. Mm. If mine tastes um, better than yours, mm. then I'm the winner. <laughs> what? You're not going to win. Definitely not going to lose either. Okay. All right. Let's do see, it. Let's see what you got. Game. Game on. All right. All right. All right. Grab a knife. Oh, problem. No problem. No problem. Let me teach you how to do this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we pretty much use one more. Yeah, I'll all right. Pepper over there. Yeah, come on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't wash my hands. Nice. Um, okay, let's mm. see what you did. This looks nice. You can taste my own. Yeah, okay. Let's go. What do you think? No, horrible. Horrible, horrible. <laughs> this is nowhere close to a proper meal. I'm telling you. You are such a liar. Dude, <laughs> very bad. Horrible. Yeah. Yeah, if I had to be as dishonest as you, I would say the same thing. But you know what? You actually did great. I know I did great. I mean, you won't really choke me into um, complimenting your food. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to guilt trip you into compliment. You I, guilt trip I, me into complimenting I'm not going to do that because you're already, you're literally wolfing it down. No, I'm just trying to make sure that my judgment is actually right. I don't want to. Um, you want to, you want to be making sure that's what? Judgment. Yeah. Bro, what's, what's happening? Nothing. I'm what's going on? on? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me. You know, you know what? In fact, let me eat this one because I don't understand what I... Jace, stop it. No. Jesus, you, you eat? No. You eat all my food. No. You eat all my food. No. I should drive. Mm. You, 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 you eat all my food. Jesus, this thing that you cook for you, huh? That is horrible. That's so fair. That's not fair. Give, give me my compliment. Which compliment? The give food, me my compliment. The food was horrible. Oh, I, I'm telling you. You are such a liar. And you I, finished it. I was trying to help you. Eh. Yeah, make you feel you good. Help you help me. Like you I'm just going to let you eat. 
I'm just gonna let it slide because I know that your ego is like which ego? Which is your, <laughs> your stomach. <laughs> You're way too fun to hate love. Uh, I don't hate love. You do. You can't hate on a lie. Remember? It's a lie. Mm. Who broke your heart? No one. My heart is beating right here in my chest where it's supposed to be. Right. You know, love doesn't only have to be romantic. I mean, there are different types of love. The Christians and Muslims, they all have their own kind of love. So you want to call that a lie too? Don't you get lonely in your own world? Well, I have everything I ever need. You're beautiful. I know. Yeah, I know you know. Just wanted to hear it from me that you are beautiful. Well, what difference would that make? A lot of difference. I mean, you heard me say it. You know you like that, right? Okay, lie to me. you now oh yes you limit me this whole engagement is a limitation we could have just been cool had fun we were happy but no you had to drag me into a more serious relationship oh. i dragged you yes you did was i the one that went to one of his knees Professing to the whole world how he can't even go a day without me. Yes, I did. I confessed. Because it's true. Or it was true. But do you know the worst thing? The worst thing is coming home to you and your father. It's like I'm dating two of you. You and your selfish, self-seeking, self-centered, impulsive father. Yes, I said it. Your father is Don't, selfish. don't you dare call my dad names. I'll call him whatever I want to call him. I'm sick and tired of your whole rules and everything you try to do to control me. I'm done, I'm tired of it. 
Chase. What? What happened to you? I mean, you see this place? We can go back to London. Scarlett, it's, it's like you're not getting it. We are not working. We cannot work. We cannot be happy together. There are so many things that have destroyed us. We're not going to be happy. Not especially with your father. It's never going to make us happy. And the fact that you don't trust me, you don't trust me at all. You cannot be happy like this. You're supposed to be the man I'm... Uh, Just please, don't leave me. Okay. We love each other. Love doesn't exist. Does it? At least love for both of us. Are you breaking up with me? Scarlett. You know what? I'm done here. Not anymore. I'm done. And I'm out of here. Everything is okay. I'm here and I will always be here for you. Come on, Dora. You know I love you. Come on. Hey. Dad. Yes, what? I need to tell you something. <laughs> oh my God, you're so horrible. <laughs> And what's funny? Oh, nothing. I mean, <laughs> it's just the way you said that. It reminded me of somebody. Does she have my kind of vibes? Um, it's actually a he. A he? Mm hmm I don't remember you knowing so many he's. Except from the one you usually, you know. Excuse me, ma. What, I, what do you mean by that? Of course, I know a lot of guys. Okay. What's your name for you? Well, to start with, mm -hmm. What, Mr. Joffo? <laughs> Shame that you ask me questions. <laughs> Give me, Joff. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Girl, are you sulking again? No, not really. Then why are you watching a movie of romance? Yeah, actually, the channel had it on repeat. Seriously? Mm. That's a DVD running. You know you can always talk to me. Is there something wrong? Did you meet someone? Did I meet someone? Do I meet people? Leave me, John, I beg. Wait, I mean, I'm your best friend. And I've known you for like how long? For a very long time. Mm -hmm. You know, the way you look right now is exactly the same way you did when you had a crush on my dad's driver and didn't know how to say it. Hey, baby, 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 Dante, please, 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 don't embarrass me right now, please, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> well, he did pick an orange seller over you, though. Oh, God. I said, don't embarrass me. and You have to say it out and remind... Why do you have to say it? I'm sorry. And remind me. I just have to remind you. <laughs> oh. Uh, wait, wait. I'm not expecting anybody. Hold on. Yeah, I'm coming. Hey. Jeez. Wait, my friend is here. Chase is going to spend the night here, upstairs. Uh, I'll... Come on. Why is this I'll explain later. I'll just... Come on.
doctors said I can't conceive. I'm in my womb. It's damaged beyond repair. And what about Jess? Does he know? Yes, he does. Uh, uh, he's still willing to marry you, even though he knows you can't give birth? Was, he was willing to take the chances. He stood by me, Daddy. He stood by me all through the trying times. And he even helped me get the best version of myself. And now he's gone, Daddy. <laughs> I don't think I will ever get a man that will love me the way Jess did. Not even one who is willing to spend a lifetime without a child. Don't worry. Jesus will come back to you. He loves you. And I know he does. I will call him. He will come back to you. He will. Hmm? Does I love Jesus? I know. And I love him so and much. He does too. What have I done to myself? What have I done? We need to talk. Um, sure, absolutely. But you, you know that we have a very important client today. Like we have to go and prep, so can we um, talk at the office afterwards? I'm just gonna go take a shower. Jesus, my son. Yes, we have a lot to discuss. Please. With all due respect, sir, 
We have nothing to talk about. Come on, my son. Uh, look at me. Look at my face very well. I know we initially started on the wrong foot. But I am sorry for everything I did and said. I see clearly now that my daughter, Scarlett, cherishes you and loves you with all her being. And I also do know that you love her equally. I give you my blessings. You can marry. I have money. You can get married tomorrow. See, I can make it happen. If you want homes, everything you want, I have them. Hmm? She told you, right? She told you. Hmm? I love my daughter. I want to wake up every morning and see smiles on her face. So please, please. I'm begging you, please, take her back. I know you will do well together, please. You despised me from the first day I stepped foot in this house. You hated me. Why now? Sorry. Your sorry makes no difference, sir. Your sorry only proves how selfish you are as a person. Jess, I'm giving you my daughter. The woman you say you love so well? Is that what you call selfishness? That's because you know she cannot have a child. Sorry, make my daughter happy. I know you two will get on very well, please. Please. Yeah. You know, no man will want to marry your daughter because she cannot have a child. So now you want to push her back on me. Because I accepted her first. Sorry, sir. That's not gonna happen. This Jace is different. I'm leaving you, I'm leaving your daughter, and I'm leaving your house. Goodbye, and have a very, very happy grandpa life. Chief Otumba. Yes? Yes! Just a moment. Love. Uh, what? Uh, I didn't hear you coming. What's up? You know, the coyotes never came. Uh, maybe they canceled. I don't know. That is another lie that I don't want to go into details. What lie? I wasn't lying. Let's talk about the one thing we've been against for the four years of our career. <sighs> Venus. What, what do you want to talk about right now? Is it really an illusion? <sighs> what are you going on about? What happened last night? What? You slept with a client. Jace is no longer a client. <laughs> Yet another lie. <sighs> okay. Fine. I slept with Jace. It's, I mean, it's, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. We do not sleep with clients. Venus, come on. Like, this is like not the first time that either of us has broken a rule, so why are you acting like this? 
Do you have feelings for him? <laughs> Girl, you should be asking me if he has feelings for me because you already know I'm a dead zone. Oh, please, enough with the pretense. Pretending about what? What am I pretending about? You know, you have that look on your face, that look Okay, that... Venus, please. Can we, can we just stop talking about the look or the expression on my face? I have nothing to do with Jace. There you go. The anger. The anger that hides the feeling. What do we call it? Venus, please. Love! I am Rhys Ejiofo. I do not fall in love. I don't do love. It is destructive and inconsequential, okay? My mission in life is to, it's, is to save people from making the exact same mistakes. Mistakes? Whose mistakes exactly? Someone broke your heart. The other stamped on your affection. You were cheated on, abused, lied to. Those are your stories, not mine. Not the story of a lady next door or many other ladies who are infatuated with the feelings of love. You have no right, no right to, to make people hate each other. Okay, come on now, you're just being ridiculous. I, I'm not making people hate each other. Oh, I'm being ridiculous. Really? Coming from a lady who, who spent her entire life telling people that love doesn't exist, yet she's in love. What? No, I am not in love with Jace. I'm not, no, I'm not in love with Jace. Oh. I couldn't possibly be for what? Do you know how many people I, I turned down? Do you know how many people I, I, I blacklisted? Because I was clinging to, to the fact that if I love someone, it's as good as being suicidal. Whereas this was our code. This was what we preached. Do you exactly know how I feel? No, 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 no. No, Venus, we, we, we've done so much good here. We're literally handing out happiness to people. Oh, we made people happily depressed. The funny thing is, they didn't even notice. See, I'm done. I'm done fueling this charades of love affair. If you can forget yourself and be with the guy that... Venus. Venus, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm... Like, I, I can't even front with you, I'm sorry. I just, I don't know, I just... I got carried away, I guess. I, I don't know what came over Love me. came over you! Love came over you, Rez! You know what? I'm going to go out there. I will love, get my heart broken, but relentlessly fall in love again. Because that is how it ought to be done! Please. <sighs> Babe. Otumba, this is not a good time. <laughs> this is the best time. What, um, is, is everything all right? Well, I came to inform you that uh, I no longer require your services. Uh, so you should leave my uh, daughter's college and just alone. <laughs> well, not that there is much left between them. I mean, <sighs> I don't think I can do that because that's what you asked me to do, remember? And the project isn't done. Jace has to completely fall for me, his attention snatched from Scarlett to me, and then the project will be over. Are you daft? I said stop! Well, I certainly won't. I told you, this is personal for me now. Jace is a challenge. I have to see this through. I absolutely have to see it through. Well, I know you've not asked too money, but then, um, here is a check of, uh, 10 million naira uh, uh, for services and their uh, pay up to stay off Jess. Jess is marrying my daughter. 
Ah, Otumba, I don't think I want to do that. Come on, Riz. What else do you want? What more? I don't know. I don't know, okay? I don't know. I just... I just know that I... I instinctively don't want to lose Jace. Okay? I want him to stay. Now, I know that this is a project, but, you know, just... Let's just not talk about this anymore, okay? Because he's mine. You are in love. Is that how you... Yes. Yes, that's how it is, sir. That's how it is. Ah, look, I trusted you. I thought you were some sort of professional. Now, leave my son-in-law alone. Leave him alone. I don't care about what you think or what you feel. Just leave them alone. I'm so sorry, Otumba, but I can't do that. Well, <laughs> whatever way, uh, after all, at least after today, Jess will no longer love you. What do you mean? J Jace? Yeah. I noticed something was going on between both of you, so I had to bring him here. So, that's it. You've been faking it. All along. Listen, I it's not what you it's not what you think it is. That's your job. That's what you do. I mean I I, I can I mean I can totally explain this. Uh, see, listen. I hired her to tear you and Scarlet apart. So if she ever told you she loved you or she loves you, <laughs> she was just playing a script. That's that's your I job to convince everyone that she was doing it beyond every reasonable doubt. You're right, you're right. It is my job. Fine. But when we got close and I don't know, maybe I'm I I'm silly. You you're different and I just wanted to keep you close and happy, okay? I I think I love you, Chase. No. Love me. One thing you taught me that is so true. Is that love doesn't exist. You have been lying to me. You know what? I don't want to ever see you again. I don't want you anywhere close to me. Do you understand me? Just, you have been dishonest from the start. I can explain. I, I don't need to hear anything from you. Just please, just hear me out. Well, well. I made a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. It's just. Ah! Well, well, well. <laughs> Ah, in the long run, the happiness of my daughter comes first.
you're expecting a hundred guests. Have you thought about the color settings and the style? No, we haven't. You know, we need all this to create a mood board for the event. Okay. Baby, what do you think? Whatever you say, I'm good. I haven't made any decision. That's why I'm asking. Then when you make a decision, just know that you have my support. What's wrong with you? Um... Okay. Here are some samples. Remember we can match two or three colors to create something fresh. Come on. Look, I, I need to take a walk, okay? Whatever you need about the color pattern or whatever you're looking for, just talk to her. She'll give you answers, okay? All right. Gina will just give us a sec, okay? Jace. Jace. <laughs> Dramatic people. All I want is my money, Jerry. <laughs> Jace. Where are you going? To grab a drink. <laughs> well, we have drinks inside. I want a drink outside. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. For what? <sighs> For making you do all of this. You don't have to if you don't want to. I don't want to, Scarlett. And I'm so sorry, Scarlett. Do you love her? Who? Reese, the love of a therapist. She, she doesn't believe in love. The good thing is that she made me understand that love truly doesn't exist. But somebody must have paid her really well. You love this girl. And I can see it in your eyes. Go be with her if she makes you happy. I mean... Beyond this whole engagement, we are friends, right? It's fine. All I want is for you to be happy. That's all. So go be with her if you want to. Thank you, Scarlett. Thank you. Oh, um, Venus, you, you're here. I thought you quit. Did you see my last tweet? Yes, I did. How are you doing? Um, Venus, I, I owe you an apology. I'm, I'm really sorry, sincerely, because I know that this, this was like four or five years of your life just down the drain like that, but the beautiful thing about love is that there's no expiration on it and you know, you have so much time now ahead of you to just go out there and find it and revel in it and just pretty much make up for lost time. You shouldn't be apologizing to me. I mean, I had fun. You should be apologizing to them, our kind. More like our victims. <laughs> Jeez, I've, I've never been a villain before. Come on. You're not the bad guy. 
they all had a choice to ignore your advice, but they didn't. So we are all equally at fault. Oh well. So, now what? I have a boyfriend. Oh my gosh, congratulations. I've had a boyfriend for a week and a half now. I almost ditched him until I found out about you and Jay, so I... No wonder, babe, I'm sorry. You know, things don't have to end the way we want it. That's the beauty of it anyways. Yeah. I... I have to go now. I'll see you. Oh, yeah. Sure, babe. I'll, I'll call you. No, it's completely my fault. I I should apologize. I am sorry too. Do you really believe love is fake? Chase. Chase, I've been through literal hell in the relationship market and I guess I guess my theories were born out of anger and disappointment and disillusionment. The truth is that love, love actually does exist. You just have to find it, you know, in the right place. Well, I believe I have found love. I just don't know if it's the right place. Will you marry me, Reese? <sighs> May I kiss you? Um, is the kiss going to determine your yes or no? I don't know, I guess we'll just have to find out. <laughs> 